Hello folks, welcome to King Video Channel. My name is Jack. Today I'm in my woodworking shop, something I really enjoy doing. And I love building little projects that you can build quickly and end up with a neat little useful wooden gadget. And over the years I've learned how to build a birdhouse, like a bluebird house, real quickly out of just one plank of wood. It doesn't take long if you just know all the little twists and turns and all the cuts to make. You can make them in no time and it's just so much fun. I've got a one plank of wood. This is an old piece of barn wood. That is, uh, it's a one by six, and it's exactly 60 inches long. And we're going to turn this into a bluebird house in just a matter of a short few minutes. We're going to start with a one by old one by six plank. It's 60 inches long. I got a few two inch torx screws and one inch torx screws. It so happens I've got a brad gun. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can get by without it. It just kind of speeds me up a little bit. And I like to use some glue, of course, some of the joints. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna, first thing I do is cut the back of the birdhouse. And I always cut it uh, 15 inches. So we're just going to cut him off right at 15 inches. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, we're going to cut the back. Fifteen inches. This is the back of the birdhouse. Now the next piece, two pieces are cut of the sides that come up uh, along is the back. So the sides are going to be just like this. And what I do, I come down at the top here about maybe two inches, uh, or maybe a little more because the roof is going to sit on top of this. So maybe like, about like that, about, just kind of guess that at two and a half inches. Uh, and at the bottom, you got to have a little room for your mounting screws, so I'm going to just kind of mark it right along, right along here for the side. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'll show you why in a minute. Now I'm going to draw a line here. This is the two sides will be like this. Now we cut two pieces like this, this length, and then we're going to cut an angle here for the roof, for the roof line. So we'll make these two cuts and then we'll cut the angle. Okay, we're ready to cut the two sides of the birdhouse. Um, the measurement ended up at about, well, 11 inches. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut an angle on one end of each of these boards for the um, for the pitch of the roof. And I like to use 15 degrees on the saw. Just come around to 15 degrees and I'm do it like this. Okay. Yep. So I'll go in there, come around to 15 degrees. What you do, you take these and you put them like this on the house, and uh, you got room up here for attachment screws to attach it to a tree or whatever on the top and bottom. And we're going to just uh, put a little glue here and brad it or screw it in. Then I'll show you how to do the front and the top. back and two sides of the birdhouse. Now the next thing we're going to do is um, build the bottom piece. So we've got to cut out the bottom out of that same one by, oh, it'll go like this. It'll fit right inside these two. It's a little tight because these boards are warped some. About like that, see. And you got to, now when you cut the bottom, show you a little trick. Cut the bottom, you got to leave enough allowance here for the top to recess down on the, you know, below the sides here. So the top, so anyway, we're going to 
we're gonna make it um, so we're gonna cut this right across here for the bottom there's my mark for the bottom see it's not very long actually and again this is the bottom we're working off of that same plank of wood so we've got plenty to go it was 60 inches long originally so you're not using a lot of material <clears throat> you should drill a few small holes in the bottom so the little bird will get a little fresh air and some waste material might need to go down through those little holes. I put about maybe four holes in the bottom of the, uh, in, the in the bottom. Okay, so now we've got the bottom. I got about a, it's about a quarter inch bit. You don't need anything bigger than that, really. And I like to pop about maybe... Okay, we're going to attach the bottom that we just cut, and again, I like to put a little bit of glue on the sides of it, and maybe a little bit of glue across this back right here, where the uh, bottom's going to rest. Keep it simple. And you might have to pry these apart a little bit to get the bottom in, and make the bottom right here flush with the bottom of the sides. Now, folks, we're gonna um, we've cut the front, and we've got to determine where to put the hole. And I always just judge it by eyeballing it. I don't do a bunch of measuring. Okay, let me tap it down. All right. Now, of course, the front's here, and the hole will be. And now again, I'll just get back and just look at it by eyeball it, you know. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm saying right there is my... Okay, so it's time to cut the hole on the front of the birdhouse. And... Well, folks, I didn't find any adequate wood in my spare junk pile of wood for top, so I'm just going to use the same board here. It's certainly fine. It doesn't have quite enough overhang, um, but it's certainly it's adequate. I mean, we're talking about a bluebird house. I like to give it about one inch um, overhang on each side here, so we'll measure and we're going to have to cut a little bit off here. So we'll make a cut right here and cut this waste off so the top will go from here to the end and just attach it like that. But I'm going to put a bead of caulk right here just to keep rainwater from just flooding right down. I usually I will bevel bevel this edge but we don't have enough length here we'll lose too much length if we bevel it right here like that so um, i just put a little bit of caulk at the top and there is a really nice little bluebird house that you can open the front like so clean it in uh, one 60 inch piece of uh, old spare wood thanks for watching it's king video channel my name is jack and um until next time, stay tuned in and please subscribe so you can see more of our cool videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.